Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, September 26th, coming on with the latest on very dangerous uh, Hurricane Helene, which is rapidly approaching the Florida Big Bend coastline. Helene has strengthened today. It's a powerful Category 3 hurricane, maximum sustained winds of around 125 miles per hour. The center of Helene right now is located about 130 miles west of Tampa, but moving very quickly to the north-northeast at 23 miles per hour. And its expansive storm is going to make landfall this evening along the Big Bend coastline and you can see in the radar imagery the well-defined eye uh, the data from the radar and the hurricane hunter aircraft have shown Helene strengthening today expecting some continued intensification and Helene could certainly make landfall as a category four hurricane uh, this evening along the Big Bend coastline um, very concerned about multiple life-threatening hazards that are going to start playing out here in just the next couple of hours uh, we're expecting between Apalachicola and Chasawitska, 10 to 20 feet of storm surge inundation above ground level, especially near and to the right of where the center of Helene crosses the coast. Uh, again, 20 feet is enough to inundate a two-story building. There's going to be destructive wave action on top of that, especially near where the hurricane makes landfall. So this is going to create unsurvivable conditions in these areas. So hopefully everyone in those storm surge evacuation zones who's asked to, been leave, to leave by their local officials has gotten to a safe location. If you can still get out, please do so if you have time and it's safe to move. Uh, because of the uh, widespread uh, storm surge uh, threat along the entire Florida West Coast, all the way from down to Flamingo, up through the Tampa Bay region, up to west of Apalachicola, due to Helene's very large size, it's moving lots of water around. So even in areas like Tampa Bay, we're expecting to see as much as eight feet of inundation above ground level as those strong winds funnel the Gulf of Mexico water up into the Tampa Bay region. So everybody along these storm surge evacuation zones want to be very safe, especially at night. Don't be out driving around in areas that could be flooded. Now again, Helene is moving very quickly to the northeast, north northeast, as I mentioned, and with a powerful hurricane moving fast, it's not going to have time to, to weaken very much before it moves quite far inland and brings the threat of hurricane conditions uh, through much of north central Florida, including the Tallahassee area, the Big Bend region, and hurricane warnings are in effect for much of southwestern and west central Georgia, just to the south of the Atlanta metro area, and that includes places like Albany, Macon, uh, just west of Ray Way Waycross, Bainbridge, down to the Tallahassee area down almost uh, to uh, Cedar Key. In these areas, you're going to see the potential for substantial structural damage, widespread tree damage, significant long duration power outages. In the blue areas, this is where we're expecting to see tropical storm conditions. That includes the Atlanta metro area, Columbia, South Carolina, Charleston, Charlotte, North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, very concerned about the potential for even gusts to hurricane force in metro Atlanta and along the portions of the southern Appalachians, especially in southwestern North Carolina portions of western South Carolina. So again, in all of these areas, you should be prepared for wide, uh, potentially long duration power outages, unsafe environment. You want to be sheltering in place. Most wind fatalities and tropical storms and hurricanes happen due to trees falling on people in their cars or in their homes or outside. So please shelter in place in a safe location through the duration of this event. Then we have to move on to the flash flooding threat. Even though Helene is going to be moving quickly, it's going to bring the uh, potential for catastrophic flooding from heavy rainfall all the way from western North Carolina just to the west of Charlotte, Hickory, Asheville, upstate South Carolina, at the Atlanta area, down through Macon, Albany, Bainbridge, Tallahassee, down to the Big Bend coastline. Everywhere you see in pink is that level four out of four risk for uh, flash flooding. That's the highest risk we paint. Everywhere in this red area is three out of four. That includes Charlotte, Columbia, uh, eastern portions of, of Alabama, southeastern and eastern Tennessee, and up into southwestern Virginia. Some some of these locations are going to see up to 20 inches of rainfall, especially along the southern Appalachians. We're expecting catastrophic and life-threatening flooding and flash flooding and urban flooding and the potential for widespread landslides in these areas. We also have the potential for, uh, again, widespread power outages. I want to talk a little bit about post-storm safety. With power going out, people are going to fire up the generators they have. Make sure you use those safely. We lose a lot of people after major hurricane landfalls to carbon monoxide poisoning from improper generator use. So that's a significant risk for everybody uh, under those tropical storm and hurricane warnings. There's also the potential for tornadoes. We have tornado watches in effect for portions of uh, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, several tornado warnings in effect. So for anyone in these areas, you want to make sure you have your wireless emergency alerts turned on on your phone, have a NOAA weather radio so that you can be alerted to hazardous weather, a tornado warning or flash flood warning overnight, especially if you're going to be asleep. So uh, let's touch on again the key messages here for Helene as we head into what's going to be a very dangerous Thursday night and Friday for much of the Florida and the southeastern U.S. We're expecting a catastrophic and 
deadly storm surge along portions of the Florida Big Bend Coast where we are expecting to see inundation as high as 20 feet above ground level. If you've been asked to evacuate and you still can do so safely, please get out of those evacuation zones in that region. We're also expecting catastrophic hurricane force winds within the eye wall of Helene where it makes landfall along the Florida Big Bend Coast tonight. And uh, hurricane force winds are going to spread inland across portions of northern Florida and Georgia uh, in overnight tonight and early Friday. So again, shelter in interior portions of well-built structures, well-built homes, away from windows, away from the potential for falling trees to hit you. Uh, damaging wind gusts are also going to penetrate well inland, especially over portions of Georgia and the Carolinas, especially in the southern Appalachians. Again, please uh, be prepared for power outages and wind damage in those areas. And finally, last but not least, the catastrophic and life-threatening flash and urban and flooding threat that's going to play out all the way from the, the Florida Panhandle and Big Bend region through Georgia into the Carolinas uh, tonight and Friday. We're expecting widespread, uh, significant flash and urban flooding, landslides, as well as river flooding in those areas. So again, please stay tuned to sources of trusted information as we go through the night tonight on Thursday and into Friday. Uh, we'll be here at the National Hurricane Center. You can always come back and get information from us at hurricanes.gov. You can get information about your local hazards in your area from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with more throughout the rest of the event with Helene. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.